probably been seeing a lot of Cybertrucks being spotted. They are being seen more and more every day, it seems, either being driven around or being transported by a Tesla semi-truck. Most likely being transported actually for crash testing or efficiency ratings, because we've then later seen pictures of what look like crashed cyber trucks. This suggests that Tesla are working hard to begin deliveries as soon as possible, and we believe they actually have a delivery event for the cyber truck in Q3 this year. They first tweeted, or X'd I guess, that they had built their first cyber truck at Giga Texas on the 15th of July this year. So if the delivery event turns out to be mid to late September, then that will be around two to two and a half months from that announcement. And I read that someone actually figured out that on average, it takes them 92 days from production of the first vehicle to customer deliveries. And this was calculated for Model 3 and Model Y. So I'm kind of expecting the delivery event to either fall in late September, possibly even in October. This delivery event will be quite a big deal for Tesla investors and other onlookers alike, because the Cybertruck was first announced in November 19. And over the course of nearly four years, there have been a lot of delays and a lot of pushbacks. And it's felt quite often that this product will never be getting to market. This event is a chance for Tesla to mark its first official delivery of the Cybertruck to a customer. Now, this customer may actually be a Tesla employee rather than a proper full customer, but it still allows Tesla to say they are starting deliveries and start getting people really excited, even if their production isn't fully ready for those massive, massive customer demands. And we'll get onto demands in just a second. Remember though, that this doesn't mean that as soon as a delivery event has taken place, that all of the people that reserved a cyber truck will start getting their deliveries. The list for these, which we'll get onto in just a second, is absolutely humongous. So it's going to take them probably years to get through the backlog of people waiting for one of these. And during this event, it's very exciting because we expect to hear the full pricing and the full specifications, which actually haven't been fully confirmed yet. So who are the actual competitors for the Cybertruck and who is the market for these vehicles? Well, pickup truck owners are the most obvious market for these or I guess anyone that has some spare money lying around and think that the Cybertruck looks really revolutionary and really cool and wants one. The pickup scene in the US is way, 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 way bigger than it is in the UK. So I don't have any firsthand experience of how the Cybertruck could actually disrupt the pickup market, but a lot of people seem to think that it can. And the statistics and the amount of people that have pre-ordered one of these agrees with that. Some competitors that we can consider here are Ford with their F-150 Lightning pickup truck, which I believe has actually undergone recent price cuts itself. And you can now get the cheapest version of that vehicle for about $50,000 or you can get the Platinum Extended Range and that comes in at just short of $100,000. And then you've got the Rivian R1T, which again, depending on the model and the specs that you choose, comes in at around $75,000. But then again, we have to ask, are there actually any real competitors for the Cybertruck? it's not really comparable to current products on the market. And it's unlike anything that we've ever really seen. It's kind of redefining what a pickup truck can actually look like. So like I said, pickup trucks are incredibly popular in the US. Now you can probably tell from my voice, if you don't already know, I actually live in the UK, but if you are an American viewer, let me know in the comments below, does this statement hold true? And also, are pickup trucks more common in particular states? I'm thinking maybe in mid America and maybe the South, and then maybe the coast like California area, you'd see less of them, but I could be wrong, let me know. And they represent one of the most sold vehicle types. Currently, Tesla doesn't compete in this market, but they are about to. They are about to enter one of the most lucrative vehicle segments in the US. This could mean very good things for Tesla in terms of revenue. I've actually heard people say that the Cybertruck will be the Hummer of the decade in the sense that when the Hummer was first released, it was actually really weird looking and unlike anything that people had ever seen before. I think it's possible as well that the Cybertruck will end up attracting people that were never pickup owners before. Perhaps they've never had a reason to have a pickup truck, but now they see the Cybertruck and they're very interested or they like the new look of this, 
or maybe they're Tesla owners of a Model Y and now they really want the Cybertruck. So I believe the market is bigger than just current pickup truck owners. So now the price of this. How they will price this vehicle is a really interesting discussion point. Tesla's mission is, of course, to accelerate the world's transition to sustainable energy. So you'd expect, just based on this mission statement, that they would want to make it as cheap as possible so they can get as many sales as possible, as many people converting from a traditional combustion engine pickup truck to the electric Cybertruck. But also, this is a radical vehicle, as Elon Musk said himself. So there is somewhat of a bit of pricing power here. And the demand is there, or at least the demand pre-order numbers are there to support a higher price. But then again, would a lower price potentially help capture more of that market share? If it came out that the price was actually a lot higher than anyone really thought that it would be, Wall Street analysts could see this and actually calculate higher price targets for Tesla stock based on the price and the demand. Either way, it's gonna be short-term volatility, but the price of the Cybertruck and the delivery event and all of the stuff surrounding it, I believe will definitely impact the stock price. So I've heard a mixture of different prices. I've heard $50,000, 48, 75, even above 75. I think originally the Cybertruck was going to be around $40,000 for the single motor lowest spec option. And then this was gonna move up depending on the higher grade options that you can pick up to about $70,000. But these prices were floated around back in like 2019. So of course, take these all with a very, very big pinch of salt and consider that there will be an inflationary impact to these prices as well. There's people that will have a better understanding of the pricing of these vehicles way more than I do, but I'm kind of currently in two camps here. My first idea is that Tesla would want to be as competitive as possible. So they would want to make the Cybertruck as cheap as it possibly could be in order to get mass volume sales. Then I start to think that actually they would want to price this at more of a premium, focusing on profits and then using those profits to offset some of the really high development and production costs and try and keep it as more of a niche high value product that people are willing to pay more money in order to get an innovative vehicle, one, that not many people have ever seen before. And then perhaps they could keep price cuts as an option, a future tactic. And I do wonder how difficult it would actually be for them to make this really affordable straight away, given its design and materials. And like with anything, there will be an S-curve in terms of production, whereby at the beginning, the production will be really slow. And then it will start to hit the, the curve in the S and it will start to get quicker and enter the growth stage. And we've seen this time and time again. Having said that, I do feel as though Tesla have worked very, very hard to make sure their production scalability can keep up with demand. They have put a lot into their factories and efficiencies within their factories to make sure they can mass produce at scale. I think this is what will set Tesla apart and we're kind of already seeing that take place. And this may be what allows the Cybertruck to completely dominate the EV pickup truck market or just the pickup truck market in general because they are able to produce at mass. And there are other EV pickup truck makers that are really struggling to ramp up their production. But this vehicle is just not the same in terms of manufacturing as other Tesla cars. So this could introduce some obstacles. So we have this article from ARK Invest and it's pretty interesting. And it makes the point that today, most automakers fund the development and sales of unprofitable EVs with profits from their gas powered truck sales. If the Cybertruck were to disrupt that profit center, traditional automakers could end up in trouble. Now, whilst I do think that the Cybertruck will be crazy, I also believe there will be a lot of people out there that just don't like the Cybertruck. They don't like what it looks like and they would rather stay with a more traditional looking pickup truck. But the bit they said there about the danger to internal combustion engine pickup truck makers, I do completely understand that and I think it will be very, very impactful here. I won't lie. When I first saw the Cybertruck get announced, I was very confused. Like I was thinking, what is this weird looking vehicle? Has it come from outer space? 
and who would actually want this or who would even need one of these? I didn't really see a market or a use for it at all. But one big thing that I was missing here is that I am not the target audience for the Cybertruck. And like I said, I live in the UK and especially whereabouts I live in the UK, you don't really ever see pickup trucks. So I couldn't even imagine one of these cyber trucks pulling up on a road next to me or driving through the city. It, it would be very, very odd. And I don't really believe that we have the roads and the space necessarily for them where I live. So I'm not really sure. But Elon said that he wants to emphasize that the Cybertruck has a lot of new technology in it. It doesn't look like any other vehicle because it isn't like any other vehicle. So this led me to start thinking about when in recent history has there been a product that has been anticipated to be released where people were just confused by it. They don't really understand it. There's a split camp. And some people are just a bit like, uh, what is that? Why would people need one of those? Why would people want one of those? And I can think of one pretty good example of this. And that was when the first phone was released that had no keyboard and no stylus. And I'm pretty sure that so many people were really skeptical of Steve Jobs for doing this. But now look, the Cybertruck has been pre-ordered by close to two million people. It actually may even be higher than this now, but this number has come from a crowd-sourced data tracker, so it may not be 100% accurate. To have reserved a Cybertruck, you had to put down a $100 deposit, so many of these reservations may not actually translate into proper full orders, seeing as people don't actually fully know the pricing or the specification just yet. And of course, there will be some potential customers that just don't want to wait, so they'll go elsewhere. And all this has had me thinking about whether or not we will see a similar picture in terms of the Tesla stock as we saw back in 2020, when Model Y was released. Will the Cybertruck come out and just be extremely popular and sell in high volumes? And will this draw more and more people in to the Tesla ecosystem and the Tesla brand, just like we saw with Model Y? Will this mean that people will be getting really, really excited about this unseen before innovative vehicle? And will this mean that there will be a massive amount of word of mouth marketing again, like we saw with Model Y? And how will all this affect Tesla stock. Let me know how you feel about this in the comments below. If you do want to sign up to Trade in 212, which is the investment platform that I personally use, you can open a Stocks and Shares ISA or a general investment account over on that. I will leave a link in the description below. If you use that link, you will get a free share worth up to £100. Thank you so much for watching this video and I'll be back with another one very shortly.